Normally at the beginning of the tour, we kind of like to orient families a little bit. We talked a lot about what my first day and first week and the first 100 days and what are all the things that I wanted to do. And I said, well, first of all, get me out of Wallace Hall. I want to see the campus. I want to meet people. I want to see people where they work. Hi. We wanted to welcome you to Rochester. Thank you so much. So there's a goodies in there for you. I know the reputation of this place, and I think I know some of its strengths and, and some of its challenges. But I'd like to hear that from people who, for whom this is their home. What are the things that they think are most important? And uh, that'll help us figure out the things that we need to work on first. I'm Christina. Hi, nice Christina. I'm Sarah. Pleased to meet you. Hi, I'm Ruth. I want this to be a welcoming community for all students, wherever they come from, and know that this is a place where they can thrive. You know, the campus looks to be in very strong physical shape. It's pretty good shape. It's a great university in a beautiful city, in a beautiful part of the country. It's a place that has a fabulous history. Just this morning, I went running in Mount Hope Cemetery and, you know, said hello to Susan B. Anthony and Frederick Douglass. That, that boiler replaced the boiler that was 85 years old. So there's a picture in our offices of Rush Reeves lighting off a boiler. That was the boiler that he lit off, and we just replaced it last year. The next few months will be a great opportunity for me to talk to people and listen and learn their thoughts about the University of Rochester and the city of Rochester. I'm filled with great optimism and excitement about Rochester, both this great university and this great city. Our fates are interconnected and our shared future, I believe, is very bright.